Welcome back. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. We're going to finish off today with just the flatten tool. We just did the crease tool and before that the insert edges, before that was edit form, and before that was the verse one of the video in this little short series of sculpting tools in Fusion 360 of how to get into the sculpting environment. If you don't know how, you can find that video in my videos list or in the playlist attached to this video. But for right now, let's just look at flatten. So the point of this tool is really literal. Flatten something. Now you can do it in a few different ways and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to do it. The most common way is the least effective because it's sort of the default one and it's least effective on purpose. You don't wanna cause too much change to an object. One thing to hint, hint at when you're sculpting or making something is that a lot of change really fast doesn't usually work very well for you. You should try to do things in steps. Now, here we go. If I want to flatten something, just select flatten. All the points, the intersecting points, will get a little bulb attached to them. You can select one, select two, nothing happens. Select three, nothing happens. Now here's where sometimes it does, depending. I've seen it happen on three. But once I select this fourth one, it now changed. Unselect, goes back. Select, changes. It's trying to average between one, two, three, four selected points. So just light green. The other ones are gray. If I select this, you see how much it's changing? You see what's happening here? It's averaging out. The more points I select, the flatter it gets. So just a hint, if let's say you wanted just this section flat, then what I would do is probably say, add some more lines to it. You should avoid adding too many lines at all times. Always have the least number of lines. But now it becomes a little bit flatter than before. So that's one way to flatten. It's really simple. Hit OK. Let's say I wanted this panel and this panel and this panel to be flat all the same. It won't be perfect. I can't say perfect. You need a crease to make it perfectly flat. But hold shift and select multiple. I held shift for that one. And then select flat and it will flatten them all deep by default. Instead of doing flatten and selecting all the corners, I can just select one, two, three, even let's do all this for fun. And it's right there. It's flattening as best as it can. It's not, it's, a little, it's already kind of flat. Uh, let's get a better example. Let's get this. This corner has this really sharp edge. So if I do one, two, three, flatten, it does its best. Look at that. The bottom is not selected yet. Now it is. Now watch when I hit cancel. It goes back to that edge. So that's one way to flatten. Here is a very common way once you get more familiar with the program. And I'm jumping steps here. So just bear with me. Right here, construction panel, the planes. I'm going to construct one. Not any of these down here. Just forget about all these for right now. You don't need these. You rarely use them if you're good at just predicting what's going to happen and planning ahead. Offset plane. Select one of the edges here. This object, I can't select anything because nothing's flat. Construction planes only like flat objects. Hint, hint. So here we go. Select that. Bring it out, select it again, move it up. Now I'm going to place it in front of all of these. And I'm gonna kind of get it on a nice angle where it's sort of in line with the rest of them. I'm just thinking as I'm, I'm talking here. Now, if I pull it out here, what's gonna happen when I flatten I'm going to flatten to this plane. So these will be pulled. Whatever I select will be pulled to it. If I'm way out here, it'll go yank and it'll select it or pull it all the way out there. So I'm going to keep it kind of close, just about intersecting. 
Actually, you know, that's fine, just like that. Now, watch this. One, two, three, four. Flatten. Nothing happens. Just normal stuff. Up here on the flatten dialog box, direction fit is where you're fitting to the current points of the object. It averages. Select the plane. Parallel plane. We don't need to talk about that yet. That's in the future. But right now, we're just doing select plane. Trust me, you don't need this right now. This is more than enough. Watch this. Now, it goes back to the original because it doesn't know where it's supposed to flatten anymore. It's not averaging. It's going to be exact. Exact to this. When I click it, it's going to snap. And now everything is pretty flat to that. It's not perfect because this program, if you remember what I talked about at the very beginning, this sculpting environment is an averaging clay sculpting thing. Everything is made of clay. So it's averaging as best it can. The more panels you have, the more planes, or not planes, the more uh, edges you add, the more flat it will be towards this. But that's the other way to flatten. You create a construction plane, put it where you want. If I pulled it out here, just to show you, before I end this video, and then we flatten, it's defaulted back to our last time, yanks it way out there, and then it's not even as flat as I want it to be. That's it. Let me delete that for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time when we fill a hole.